so guys i came across this stanford integration question on the internet and i decided to solve with the castle calculator to see if the calculator could solve it and the calculator was able to solve it so in this video we are going to experiment together i will show you step by step how you can do this for the people of those of you watching my video for the very first time i'm going to start from the beginning to explain so let's get a calculator calculator so this is Casio FPS underline ES plus scientific calculator. Now the very first thing you have to do is to reset it. To reset, you press shift button 9, put the instruction, press 3, press record, and press record again. You have now reset the calculator. Now the next thing you have to do is to put it in radium mode. Okay, when solving calculus problems with the Casio calculator, I highly recommend that you should be working with radium mode, not degree, because when you use degree in some cases you will not get the correct answer so to put the radiant the press shift mode option 4 is radiant okay so let's go ahead and solve this question we have the integral function sign to be on this button we press it so we have the upper limit this is definite integration level is straightforward the upper limit is pi so we have pi press shift and this button then the lower limit is zero. Go to the center bus and put the function. We have 2x alpha x sine x. Okay. Alpha x. Put the brackets over. We have 3 plus cos 2x. So that's it. Alright. Now. We'll go ahead and press record and see what we're going to have as the output. In one of my previous videos, where I talked about how I used Casio FS CD50 to solve a Chinese question to get a Wi Fi password. Now, if I'm to compare that question with this question, that question is far more difficult than this one. Okay, that question will take more time to figure out than this question. But if you are solving the both of them with the calcium calculator, the calculator will be able to get the output of the result at the same, at almost the same rate of time. Okay, so let's press record to and see what we're going to have. So the answer is what 2.4. So that's the correct answer to this question. Now, let's put this calculator in degree. And see what we are going to have. Whether we are going to have 2.46 are the answer. Let me show you something. Now you take note of this. Let's press record to. So you we have in 0 0.90, which is different from 2.46. Okay, so that's why I always recommend I should working with radium mode. Okay, by judgment, this answer is not the standard answer to this question. The standard answer to this question is the 2.46. So let's go back to it here. Okay, so this will be the correct answer to this question. Okay, so take notes of this guy, it's very important. When solving calculus problems, whether integration or differentiation, ensure that the calculator is always in radium mode before you solve. Okay, so that is for this class. Hope you learned something interesting from this Stanford integration math question we practice with. If you are new to the channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class of video. If you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this video or this topic we dealt with, feel free to leave your question. In the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response okay so don't forget to apply your calculator once you are done don't press shift button 9 for the instruction and the calculator will be cleared okay i will see you in my subsequent video